Hey everyone, it's Marissa and I'm here because I wanted to show you guys what I made for a swap that I'm in. And some of you guys are like, oh my god, Marissa's doing a swap. Yeah, I'm one of those people who don't like doing swaps because I got burned before. But this person who I'm doing a swap with, she's awesome. I know who she is. I follow her. I'm a fan of hers. And um, if you guys don't know who Shandi is, she is favored favors here on YouTube and Instagram and I will put her link down below um, for her channel if you guys aren't subscribed to her go ahead and do it um, she is so awesome that girl can knock out those silhouette cameo projects with her eyes closed uh, every time I see her on Instagram she's every day she has like things that she makes every day and um, she uses her cameo and and I have a cameo but I have a hard time with it maybe I'm dumb I don't know but um yeah, you guys go check her out because she does some awesome projects using her cutting machines. And if you guys have a question regarding it, ask her because she's like a pro at it. <laughs> so, Shondi and I decided to do a Christmas-themed shaker gift card holder. And um, I was like, okay, yeah, I can do it. So, and I was just excited that she had asked me. So, I'm going to show you what I used. I brought this out. Of the vault I told myself don't use it until you get an, another paper pad but I didn't I used it and I'm so happy and proud of myself I ended up using the Kaiser craft Christmas wishes and you guys all seen this this is probably like the prettiest Christmas paper pad that you could ever see because its colors are just very pretty it's I've never seen colors like this on a Christmas anything before so I use that I'm so glad I did. And then I also use the um, die cuts. And I use, what else did I use? These Weary Memory Keeper sleeves. And I have a little ranch, you guys, real quick. This thing sucks. Um, and I don't think it's, it's um, the user. It's, the, it's this tool. Because I've tried everything. Everything that everybody has suggested for me to try, I tried it. And this darn thing still won't seal i can have it warm up for like 30 minutes and use it and the darn thing doesn't seal so this thing sucks so i had to pull out my handy dandy red tape this came to the rescue doing this project so that was just a little rant that i wanted to share with you guys so yeah this thing sucks i think i'm gonna have to invest in the other one and try the weird memory keepers because i just uh, yeah 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 I just can't deal with that. So anyways, we decided to do a Christmas themed shaker gift card holder. And I did a few. And um, we're, we were supposed to do five. So I used the embellishment or the, um, what do you call it, the die cuts as well as the paper behind. And this one, I just um, put this one on double-sided tape foam tape actually and then I tied a bow here to put on top of the tag and then I used some like a flat matte gold sequins and hearts or no stars so that's the first one and then when you turn it to the back all of them I put like a piece of strip right here um and I was thinking that maybe Shandi if you know if you would like it's up to you there's like two pockets in here so there's the middle pocket behind this right here. And I was thinking you can put the gift card in there. And then you can put a, a piece of paper or something. Um, you know, writing a message, Merry Christmas, hope you enjoy, blah, blah, blah. And you can put it in here. Or if not, you can just put the gift card here. It's up to you. So I did this one. And I made it kind of like where it's um, masculine too. So it's not too girly. But it's still cute. There's that one. And then this one. Oh my God. Look at how cute. I love the colors in here. Look at the paper. And then the sequins match perfectly. And it has, um, it's like three layers of these die cuts. There's like a doily. There's a, a bulb. And then with love with the bulb. And in the background, the paper is a bulb. Different shapes as you can see. And then when you turn it around, Here's the piece of paper. So, Shandi, I hope you are going to love this because I know whatever you make me, um, 
I am going to just love. I'll probably keep it for myself and not ever use it ever. So, um, because I was, when I was thinking of what to do, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do something that Shawnee's going to like because she is just so awesome. Mine has to be awesome too. So I hope you like it. <laughs> so th these two I made, and then here's another one that's kind of masculine that you could use. Um, this has a paper in the background again. I use gold in like a baby blue flat sequins and then a die cut. And it says, wishing you joy. I have the Christmas tree there. I thought that was really cute. That's the back. And then I did this one, another masculine one, kind of, with the flower. I actually used double-sided foam tape on here and layered the flowers just to give it a little pop. This is Merry Christmas. And I, tr I try to use different sequins in all these so that you could just have a variety of color. So there's that one. And then this one's probably my favorite one. Look at how cute. Look at how cute the background paper is. Isn't that super cute? So what I did is, again, I used um, some sequins and then I used the cutouts of the bulbs and I put it inside the shaker so that it could shake around as well. And it's kind of stuck. Oh, there you go, it's moving. And then I just put this um, tag here and then just put a little bow on the corner. So that is the shaker card. And then what I did was I actually wanted to make um, coordinating um, envelopes for these. And I couldn't, make, I couldn't make up my mind which paper to use for each gift card holder. So what I did was I just cut the paper and then I used my, um, I used, whoops, yikes, sorry guys. I used my envelope punch board and I just made um, some envelopes that you can put together in different coordinating papers so you could actually choose which one you want to use for whichever um, gift card you want to use gift card holder so I did that and then I'm also going to Give you some die cuts as well so that you can embellish your um, envelopes if you decide to or reuse these. So it's kind of like um, DIY, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, it just, I don't know, it's so funny because sometimes I just can't make up my mind what I want to do. And so I, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to cut it out and punch it for her. And then she could um, figure out which one she wants to use herself. So that's what I did. But of course, I didn't stop there. This other project I wanted to show you guys, I used this paper. This is by Craftsmith. This is last year's paper. And then I also used these Anna Griffin Christmas stickers. And this, these metal gold bows from the paper studio, from Hobby Lobby. So I couldn't stop there. I had to keep on going since I was making shakers. I had to make a money holder gift card. Or what is it? A money shaker gift card holder. There you go. That's a lot. <laughs> and so I use this paper. I use the punch board, the envelope punch board. I added the bow. And then for the closure, I added double-sided, or not double-sided, but um, Velcro, as you can see. And then I made money shakers. And then I have paper in the background, as you can see. And this has, like, um, polka dots. Good polka dots. And then what I did with this one, though, is instead of just having the shaker elements in the front, I also did it where the shaker elements are in the back. So when you put your cash, you can put it right there, and you have the sequins on both the front and back. So there's that one, and I have one more. And it looks like this. It's super cute. I tied some red, um, what do you call this? twine and then I got some of these um, cutouts from the paper pad and then just tied it around this envelope that I made and let me open it for you then it's also has the closure with the velcro and then inside is your money gift card holder and then this also has the paper 
Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that super pretty? And then the back also has the moving um, sequins in the back. So there's the shaker in the front and the back. And then you would put your money there. So yeah, Shandi, I hope you like everything. Um, I should be shipping it out shipping it out tomorrow. Sorry for the delay. Um, I can't wait to to open up your box. So um, I hope everybody's having a great week so far. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.